Manchester United's interest. Four, Mason Mount is intensifying day in day out as a story is being told us by Sunsport that Manchester United is willing to pay £60 million for Mason Mount, a fee that Chelsea is really coming in for for the player in the summer transfer window because the player is going to head to fail to really commit to their new contract that they're giving him welcome to united matters channel how are you guys and where you're watching us from good morning everyone this is rock and david and the lord has made it happen it's a sunday and how is your sunday going my viewers my subscribers and all those that are not subscribers but keep on this channel to get the latest about manchester united then we are going to talk about eric ten Hag talking about marcus rashford staying at manchester united appreciating him for scoring 30 goals a season and Lisandro Martinez the expected return duration for him then he had something to say about the game of Fulham that we are playing today at Old Trafford a game that is closing a Premier League season but it's the second last game of the season because next weekend <coughs> we're going to be playing against Man City in the FA Cup finale at Wembley so Hope you guys are really well briefed on what we're going to talk about so sit where you are get your phone get your laptop get your smart tv and let's roughly to rumble right it's rock and david and don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel because we want to hit 13,000 subscribers guys right so let's get into this story brought us by the sun they've confirmed us the following that manchester united are willing to pay 60 million pounds for mason mount Mount has made it clear to his advisors that United is now the club he wants to go to and is pushing for the deal to happen. Now, <clears throat> Mason Mount, Mason Mount's preference is to come and play for Manchester United. That was confirmed to us by David Austin. If I told you not David Austin, he's a tier one journalist and most of the things he says really come to happen. <clears throat> you know, recently he went ahead and really told Arsenal fans that Zinchenko is out until the end of the season when photos of the training session of arsenal towards the game of brighton came out and zichenko was in they trolled david austin but ever since the game of newcastle zichenko has not played any game for arsenal ateta on friday came out and confirmed us that zichenko's season is done now arsenal fans are coming back to understand that what david austin was telling them was the truth so <clears throat> The preference of Mason Mount is Manchester United. It looks like Eric Ten Hag is sold onto an idea of delivering Mason Mount to Manchester United. And uh, when Eric Ten Hag was coaching Vitesse, he wanted to get Mason Mount on a loan. So, the desire for Mason Mount has been longing or has been long overdue in the eyes of Eric Ten Hag. Ten Hag admires Mason Mount as a player. That's it. However much, me as Rokan, I don't admire Mason Mount. That's it. I think there are very many other players that are really better than Mason Mount that we can get at 60 million pounds. But we are here to back the manager. That's it. We are here to back Eric Ten Hag in every player that he wants to sign at Manchester United. In every deal he wants to give a green light to arrive at Manchester United. We are behind this manager. Why? He has gone ahead to do wonders this season. And if at all he thinks that Mason Mount is the missing piece in his midfield jigsaw, then all is good to go. All is good to go. And we can really look at one another as <clears throat> supporters of Manchester United. And he's the coach. He's the one who knows what, sp what spice is missing into his, into his dish. To make it really taste nice so if it's mason greenwood sorry if it's mason mount then that's good to go but <clears throat> my worry is 60 million pounds that's my worry how can you pay 60 million pounds for a player who is going to be left with one year on his contract at the end of the 30th of june this year that's where my worry increases you know because we are really a team that doesn't have money. Another question rises in my mind. Where are we going to get the money to spend on Mason Mount? To an extent that Ten Hag has 
deferred from his plan of signing a number one <clears throat> and number one all world class striker as his priority signing of the season to make Mason Mount his priority signing of the season because if United is going to spend 60 million pounds on Mason Mount as soon as the window opens, that means he's our priority signing. That's it. Because if a striker was our priority signing, strikers are outside there, very many, you know. There is Harry Kane, Dusan Vlahovic, there is Goncalo Ramos, there is Victor Oshman, um, who else? Let's talk about those four. Victor Oshman, the deal is had to be done because he'll go for like 130 million pounds. United can't stretch to that level. Then, Harry Kane, 100 million pounds. That can really happen. Yeah, because United has the money with them. Then, Goncalo Ramos, he's going for 120 million euros. That is 100 million pounds. If Ten Hag has not changed his plan, then what is that? If his plan was to sign a priority as a center forward, then he would have gone for him first, like he did last summer when he told the board that don't sign any player before we get the deal of Frankie De Jong out of the way. He had made Frankie De Jong his priority signing, that is Eric Ten Hag, and we took close to two months without signing a player because Ten Hag told the board, don't make don't make any spending before you get in um before you get in frankie de jong now it looks like he has shifted to mason mount i insinuate that mason mount pushing for this deal to happen is one of those things that ten Hag is obsessed about that i like this player he also wants to come to manchester united i've told him exactly how he's going to fit in my team then Let's go for him, right? I think that's where everything is really panning out and coming out for Mason Mount. But the positive in this, Ten Hag loves the player. The player is going to hate to believe in Eric Ten Hag. And the player is pushing for the move and has made it clear to other teams, Liverpool and Arsenal, that are interested in his services that his preference is to go on and play at Manchester United. That's the beauty of it. But... To me, 60 million pounds is really too much for Mason Mount. I think we can get a better player at 60 million pounds better than Mason Mount. That takes me back to the reason I've always told people that maybe it's all about the homegrown players. That's it. Because for the homegrown players right now, we need to add on many as we are going to lose some homegrown players at the club of Manchester United. Then the Sun Sport have gone ahead to elaborate more about this and they said that <laughs> Mason Mount is attracted to the idea of being able to link up with so many of his England colleagues like Luke Shaw, Marcus Rashford and Harry Maguire. If Mason Mount joins Manchester United, Scott McTominay will push to leave. Now, obviously, we know that Mason Mount is a friend to Marcus Rashford, Luke Shaw, and Harry Maguire, who really is a very predominant figure in the England national team. We all know that. But Harry Maguire looks like he's going to leave Manchester United. I might not find him at the club of Manchester United, right? But Rashford, Luke Shaw are really constant. They're going nowhere and they're here to stay at the club of Manchester United. That is something huge because I believe that connection really makes a player feel at home because the atmosphere that is going to see most Brazilians really thrive at Manchester United has been created by Fred. When Anthony arrived at Manchester United, he phoned Fred, a fellow Brazilian, and it was easy for them to connect. When Casemiro came in through, the Brazilian community extended and expanded. And remember, the Brazilians were colonized by Portugal. So, Argentina and Brazilians all speak the same language that De Gea speaks and Dalo speaks it and um, Bruno Fernandes. So that community has helped them to really settle in a lot and more easily. I remember even Anthony talked about it, that the atmosphere he found at Manchester United of players that can really communicate with him in the same language, they like the same things, the food, you know, 
it has helped him settle in up at Manchester United. But Scott McTominay will push to leave if at all Mason Mount comes in through. This doesn't make sense to me because Scott McTominay is not seen by Eric Ten Hag as a number eight or a number ten or a box-to-box -box midfielder or a left forward or right forward positions that Mason Mount plays. Scott McTominay plays in the central defense midfield position where Scott Mc, where Mason Mount cannot even afford to play for a second in a game. <clears throat> I believe if Rabio comes in through, that should be the sign that should push Scott McTominay out of the club of Manchester United. The threat of Mount coming in through goes to Fred Rodriguez. I think it would have been Fred who is really worried because he's not getting ample playing time. If at all Mason Mount comes in through, then Freddy's playing time is really going to be limited. I insinuate that if Mason Mount comes in through, Fred might find himself himself leaving the club of Manchester United first than Scott McTominay. Unless otherwise we sign in another CDM. That's when things are really going to go on to put Scott McTominay in the position of leaving Manchester United. But I would love Scott McTominay to leave Manchester United because he offers less to the club. That's it. He offers less to the club, especially in a position where he's being played by Eric Ten Hag. We need another player to come in through and obviously play into that position. So, if at all you bring in Rabio, right? If at all you bring in Rabio and uh, Rabio or Declan Rice and Mason Mount, then those two have to leave. Mark Fred would have come to an end. The arrival of those two players will be a final, a final nail in the coffin of Mark Fred at Manchester United. And I think that might be the plan of Eric Ten Hag. Get out two midfielders, Fred and Scott McTominay. Then you get in Rabio or Declan Rice and Mason Mount into the mix to come in and obviously do the job at the club of Manchester United. Because all of those are improvements from what we are having. But I think... We should go in for the best options that are really available. Although Ten Hag loves Mason Mount, I'm not a person who fancies him a lot. So, let's do another story of Eric Ten Hag talking about Marcus Rashford. You know very well that Marcus Rashford is really one of those players going to hate to score 30 goals this season. Ten Hag is a manager that doesn't even settle for less. As Casemiro told you that even if you give him 100%, he would like 110% in the next game. And in this next tweet, I'm going to show you that's going to hate to excite me as Eric Ten Hag is going to hate to call in for something much more from Marcus Rashford next season. And that is 40 goals a season. That's what Ten Hag is going to hate to call in for from Marcus Rashford. So let me throw this tweet onto the screen and obviously reveal to you what exactly Eric Ten Hag thinks about Rashford's future and his next target ten Hag has said i expect rashford to renew the contract he wants it Manchester united wants it he's a child of this club so i assume this will happen i'm happy that finally a player of Manchester united is able to score 30 goals again but next year the numbers have to be higher that is eric ten Hag. he said that via via play <laughs> that's it now rashford is staying if at all there is anyone who really has question marks on Rashford's future at Manchester United, then he should really get it from me that Marcus Rashford is going to put me into paper. You know, with a lot of contracts that we're having at Manchester United that are, are said to be announced, David De Gea, Fred, Diego Dallo, I think that of Rashford should come last because even the club know it that it's the highly anticipated contract announcement that the world is really looking in for to come in through and obviously report at the club that's it so for the future of marcus rashford that's a given he's staying at the club of manchester united he's going nowhere so for the numbers being higher next season that's what ten hag's dna is all about ten hag's dna is all about one thing right it's all about one thing wanting more wanting more in every game he's obsessed with asking much more from his players day in day out you know Casemiro told us last time that Eric Ten Hag 
when you give him 100 percent he'll call in for 110 when you get him 110 he'll call in for 120. no room for hitting your ceiling and you feel like you're going to make eric ten hag happy every time you hit your ceiling ten hag will tell you that there is something more that he really can do and i think if ten hag achieves his style of play during the preseason players like marcus rashford can go out and score like 40 goals a season because we are going to be a team that's going to be creating very many chances and uh, our holder play will be really <clears throat> so much great that can create spaces for a player like marcus rashford that's it so i anticipate a very huge season for marcus rashford because our team is going to be having more and more quality players that are really focused on to creating very many chances for our team i would like to see our team creating close to 10 chances and obviously getting our forwards chances to score that's it like you saw in the game of chelsea anton martial got two seaters he scored one rashford got himself a seater he scored it you understand those are the chances i'm talking about you know we need to really create chances when they are only left with just a tap to go into the back of the net that's what we call a tap in you know those balls in the face of goal and then we really put them in the back of the net ten hag on lisandro martinez he had the following to say that i'm expecting lisandro martinez back at the club in the coming days he will be ready for the start of the preseason meaning that he's going to start doing his rehabilitation very soon and around the 5th of may when the prison is expected to resume of manchester united ten hag anticipates lisandro martinez to be back at the club of manchester united so that's it coming in from eric ten hag and we all know exactly what this is all about and we anticipate lots of things to come in through as ten hag is really telling us so lisandro martinez is another one missing out on the finale but the preseason is really going to be too early for him to return and he's going to be ready to go ahead and really do the needful in the preseason and today we are playing fulham ten hag had the following to say remember in the second video of the day i really brought you what ten hag really had to say, what marco silva had to say about ten hag and Manchester united now ten hag has gone ahead to say the following about fulham he said we want to beat fulham at home i want this team to break the record of winning the most home games during the season in the club's history that is eric ten hag he's known he's not calling in for a loose end that's why when I was bringing in my prediction, I told you that I'm not going to be surprised if at all Casemiro starts, if at all Rashford starts, if at all Anton Martial starts, because he's going to go strong. He's going to go strong for this fixture because he knows what he's really chasing. He wants to break the record of Manchester United winning the most games, the most home games at this season. So guys, thank you very much for watching through. Tell me your thoughts about United willing to pay 60 million pounds for Mason Mount as Mason Mount is pushing for a move to join Manchester United. What do you think about Marcus Rashford staying at Manchester United and Ten Hag calling in for 40 goals plus next season? Lisandro Martinez return and Ten Hag wanting to break the season, the record of Manchester United home won games at home won games in a season. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I sign out for now. See you later. Good morning. And good night to those going to bed right about now.